Hello, hello and welcome. I am excited to welcome you to a new video. It's been a while, I know, but I got the request to show you how to do a cross knee release. So that's what we're gonna do today. We'll see how it goes. Maybe you can already see it. It's so warm and so sweaty here. So I'll probably just like glide over my pole um, since I'm out of chalk. And I don't know where to find chalk here in uh, Cyprus and Papos. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, but I can explain to you nonetheless um, how to get into it and what to look for so that you can finally get your cross knee release. So let's go get a beautiful warm up in, try any of my dancing routines. They are all perfect to get you started and then come back into your cross knee release tutorial. Let's go. So first of all, there are a couple ways on how to get into your lay back or your cross knee release. Um, the first is with your cross knee release. The second one would be basically with just straight legs, but you can also go from a, a cross knee release into straight legs, no worries there. And then the last one, the most advanced one, um, would be just without hands, <laughs> where you don't hold on to the pole really, you just let yourself drop. I don't know if I'll be able to do this today because I'm sliding, I'll try to demonstrate it. Um, but yeah, we will be starting from our seat, sitting on the pole. So let's, let's start nice and low. Um, that way, if you glide, if you don't feel super secure, you can just let yourself glide towards the floor. Yeah, never let go. Always slowly glide towards the floor. If you feel like you're falling, you don't have like a really good grip, okay? This is rule number one in pole dancing and in safely falling, safely coming out of a trick. No matter what it looks like, simply let yourself glide towards the floor. Yeah, if you have got some mats and you want to use them, use them, don't worry, yeah? Okay, so. You want to start in a pole sit and we're gonna do that. So you can simply just like jump up. If you're super insecure, you can also just do it from the floor. But what is really important here is that you close your knees. So you really want to bring your knees in. That way you lean towards one side and you don't glide off the pole. Because if you are in the middle and you open up, there's like so much space between your legs and you don't have grip at all. So really important, close your knees, so internally rotate your legs and lean towards one side. And usually one leg is above the other leg and you want to lean towards the leg that is on the bottom, okay? So for this one, we want to be using the top leg for your cross knee release. So if I'm here, this is my top leg you also want to grab this one so that then you can come into your cross knee release, okay? I would say the trickiest part of this trick is when you're sitting and you want to hook the pole into your knee crease and you want to hook it right here. It's not literally like in it, inside, it's more like on the um, inside of your knee, okay? But in order to get there, sitting on the pole, again from here, you have tension on your upper hand, this one sort of stays straight, then from here, bend that top leg, grab the ankle from here, let yourself like flow down, glide down with the top hand until the pole meets your knee, and then slowly, 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 start to lower yourself more and more and more until this bottom leg pushes into the top leg, and this is your momentum. <laughs> That's it already. So the whole magic is basically by letting that top hand, let yourself slide down bit by bit by bit by bit, yeah? And that leg that you want to keep straight, basically that bottom leg, all of a sudden, as you lower yourself, starts pushing against that top leg. And that is where then, that hooked leg has nowhere to go but to press into the pole, which keeps you incredibly secure. So try this out, see how this works, and get your mind off of this thinking of I'm falling. The faster you get into this, this leg hook, let's say, um, the more secure you are, right? 
in between when you're transitioning, you sort of have to use a lot of strength on that upper arm because you're holding your whole upper body with it. So the faster you can get a hold of your ankle and hook it into the pole, the easier this will get, yeah? So again, take a look at my knee. I am not hooked like you would do in a inside or outside hook, right? So it's more on the outside, or sorry, of your inside of your knee, right? Like that. And yes, it can hurt a little, but you will get used to it, so don't worry. I will do this again on spinning so you can see it from all angles. We're going to sitting on the pole from here, grab that ankle, bring it towards the pole, and as soon as it against the pole, you can start to release your arm. Beautiful, yay. To come up, let's stop this. <laughs> to come up, all you need to do is to engage your core <laughs> and come up. <laughs> you can obviously also slide down into a forearm stand. Now, if you're in this trick and you let go of both hands, you can use that hand that you used to grab your ankle to push into the pole so you can come up a little bit quicker. Otherwise, just use your momentum. All right, great. Obviously, try the other side as well. It's the same thing. Hook that pole at your knee and then release. <laughs> in order to release both arms, you really want to be pressing against the pole with that straight leg, right? So that you can release. Now, if you want to try the version with straight legs, you really, really, really want to make sure that your legs are crossed, your feet are crossed, and you really internally rotate your knees so that you have a really strong hold, a really strong grip with your thighs right here. Do you see how my legs are crossed here? There's literally no breaking through the pole at all. And then obviously you can also just let yourself fall back, no hands. It's a little bit of a trust fall, so do this from a little bit lower, okay? Um, but actually there's nothing that can happen if you don't slip. <laughs> so make sure that you know, you're dry, maybe use some chalk, anything like that. Um, but then you're really, really safe um, by just really pressing your thighs together. So have fun with this. I hope you like this. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there was anything unclear with this or if it helped you. And also make sure to put all of your suggestions and wishes down below in the comment box so I can create new beautiful pole dance tutorials and videos and you know everything that goes with it so thank you so much and i will see you in our next video bye bye